Really quickly, I forgot to mention in this video, the fact that Ugly God said that he is independent and hear him explain his situation. And despite what you might find online, I believe him. Right. Um, it's definitely an interesting situation. Hopefully his situation comes out in some time, you know, over the years, whatever. But for now, let's just hop into this video. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I had the opportunity to speak to Ugly God, and he got some stuff correct, right? Because I had a video on him, and he clarified one big thing, but there was two things that were worth mentioning. So I'm going to get into it. Number one, water blew up faster than Ugly God wanted it to, right? It moved quick. We already know what happens when something goes super viral, and you don't necessarily have all your ducks in a row. It's a difficult situation for anybody to handle. I don't care how smart you are. And the second thing that he really wanted to make clear is the fact that he is the reason that he isn't dropping music. There's no label necessarily holding him back. There's nobody necessarily holding him back. And not just the reason he hasn't dropped music because he did kind of drop some music last year, but also the reason that he has been low in visibility, which has all led to a big perception of him falling off, which I believe is completely premature, but it's led to that perception and he's completely aware of that perception. But there's a difference between getting knocked out and just taking a step back. But at the end of the day, everybody has to face the reality that when someone goes silent these days, a lot of times people think they fell off. So here's my personal thoughts on the scenario outside of what I said already in the other video that I did. I'll put that in the link in the description below. When a song goes super viral like Water did, you're in a high risk, high reward space. And it's pretty difficult for people to make the right decisions. When I say high risk, well, you're typically risking the long term career because a lot of times people go for those immediate awards that are short term let's get as much visibility let's put as much music out and try to get as much money right now but if you don't just want a short-term career and if you're smart then you're gonna go like and eh, nah I'm, I'm cool on that I'm gonna figure out how I can get out of this and go to the long-term decision but getting out of this high risk high reward space is like being on a tightrope since you have so much visibility so first comes the pullout method, as I called it. If you haven't seen my video on the pullout method, you can check it out in the link in the description below. But many people have did it. I've talked about Metro Boomin doing it. Oftentimes, people think that taking that step back for the pullout method means always just rebranding. It could be for many reasons that you do a pullout method. But when it comes to Ugly Guy, a large part is brand focused. And when you take that step back, you got to have a lot of discipline because we're in an era where we always talk about drop more content, drop more content, go high volume. Having that aggressive approach, which is the first way you could approach it, right? When people are perceiving your brand wrong, they think you fell off or there's just some things incorrect. You aggressively respond with what you think your brand should be, right? Trying to push it in the face or trying to convince them otherwise. But that typically doesn't work, right? Now you're at their will and you're chasing people's opinion, trying to change their mind. That's hard to do from a one to many scenario. The second thing is you could just ignore it, but that's completely negligent and naive to just, you know, ignore a situation when the landscape actually has changed. Right. You came out in the game one way, but now people are starting to perceive you another way. If you think, oh, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing I plan and what I planned when the old landscape was at play, then you're probably going to fail when the new landscape is at play. It also suggests people just gamble with their careers like that. Now, the third option, as I discussed, is the pull out method. But what's important when it comes to this is you settle down, analyze the landscape, and now you map out the new direction. And understand that the more visibility you had and the more impact you made with that visibility, the longer you're probably going to have to wait before you do a sense of a rebrand. It's been a minute for Ugly Guy and in my opinion, you know, it's getting around a good time for things to happen for him because you basically have to think of the equation as this. You almost want to borderline get to where people have seemed to forgot about you. Right. You have the idea of them being for you or against you, whatever that is. And then there's just a period of people still having that leftover chatter, whether they think you fell off or you're not doing what you're supposed to do. But you continue to be silent. Right. And through that silence, you even let that hating chatter and go down to a point where it's almost non-existent. 
and then that's the opportunity to come back and remind people about you but since you've taken some time you can remind people about you in a way that you control more of the narrative than when you blew up went viral and you know a lot of things started to seep into your narrative that you didn't necessarily have control over now will ugly guys come back be completely successful that's left to be seen right we will see what happens but you already know from my last video on ugly guy I, I'm thinking pretty positively and I think this is a great opportunity, but we'll see what happens I would love to know what you guys think if you like this video go ahead and like button if you like it might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed You know what to do hit that subscribe button